Hey, what's up, y'all? This is me again with another orange tattoo video because obviously you guys like watching me tattoo oranges. So right now I'm just doing like a real speeded up video of me drawn on my stencil and we're about to start in five, four, three, two, one. And I'm gonna use a nine round liner. I'm usually around seven and a half volts. This is a Spectra Flux. But since this is an orange and not skin and they kind of feel nothing alike, I'm going to go down to I think I'm at six and a half. I like six. Six feels good. And remember, this is an orange. This isn't skin. Uh, if you're watching this video, I mean, you can watch it for technique. I'm really just doing this for fun, but this is nothing like tattooing skin. So don't watch me and hurt somebody. Now here I'm going to try to follow this line all the way through. Having some A and D ointment on your pinky will help, help you glide. And I don't want to lose my stencil, so I'm going to pat it. And right now, I am not riding the tube. I'm leveraging my pinky to control my depth. Which is not easy to do. And it took a lot of practice. So I'm assuming, assuming it takes a lot of skill.
remember, this is nothing like tattooing real skin, honestly. I mean, I guess the technique somewhat that, <clears throat> I wouldn't even really call it the technique, I guess the approach that I'm using is similar to what I would do on skin, but just the feel of the orange and just what you can actually do on skin isn't the same. I'm trying to make that make sense. Like uh, the amount of damage that this orange can take and the amount of damage that your skin can take is two different like consistencies. That was fun. <laughs> 